Second quarter earnings from Fortinet are out. The stock is moving. Let's take a look at why. This is the business story behind one stock and a move. I'm Corey Johnson, chief market strategist for the Futurum Group. Uh, this company, one of the biggest security vendors out there. They reported better than expected earnings, so the stock goes up. That's all Wall Street thinks about. But when we dig a little bit deeper through these actual numbers, what we see is a business that did $1.43 billion in revenues, up 11% year over year. Their service revenues in particular were up 20% to nearly a billion dollars right there. Um, and and a really nice profitability and great operating margins, 30.5% uh, operating margins. This was a tick up in growth for this company, which is welcome. And indeed, they suggested that when their guidance, the numbers are going to get even better into the next quarter and the rest of the year. And again, with really high margins. Well, one of the reasons they had such high margins is because their service business is doing better than their product business. A product business has worse margins. You sell more high margin stuff, all your margins go up. That's certainly what happened for Fortunate. And indeed, when they've seen this slowdown in their selling of of software and of particularly firewall hardware devices, uh, what they've seen is that the services business and the growth in that has really supported a softer uh, patch with their product sales. Um, also in the conference call, this company is always quick to point out, not that they're just the second largest uh, pure uh, of, uh, security vendor out there next to Palo Alto Networks, but this industry is ready for consolidation, suggesting they might be continue to do tuck-in acquisitions as they have done so many already. But when the numbers came out and the guidance came out, the stock got really happy. It was up 16% in after hours trading when it looks like the worst might be over for the fortunate, uh, uh, kind of you know, not super strong quarters. The last, they were, last quarter in particular, the billings uh, were not really strong and the market didn't like that, but it looks like this thing is back. The stock was down 2% for the year, so it's a good move uh, in today's uh, performance. And uh, CFO Keith Jensen was asked about sort of the sales process and how important uh, selling the hardware firewall products are to uh, really landing and expanding within an existing customer. Here's what he had to say. It's so compelling to start with a firewall. Um, and it's you know very compelling to start with the ASIC. Uh, so a, a, a physical part of it. We don't always do that, but we almost always start with a firewall, whether it's physical or virtual. Um, really what you want to do is get the operating system in the hands of the customer and what form factor that takes is we're fairly agnostic about that. So once that happens, then you start to see the knock on effect of either selling more firewall use cases and other form factors into organizations, or you're seeing that full portfolio, the SecOps product line take hold as it continues to expand throughout organizations. So I would expect that we're going to continue to see tailwinds and growth, no doubt about it, from, from the software part of the business. So yeah, those hardware sales are so important for Fortinet to get them into more software and more service revenues, which as we've seen, can last for quite some time with their customers. All right, what's the one number that tells a whole lot about this quarter? I'll have that for you with the Drill Down Bite right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So Fortinet, second quarter earnings, this giant uh, uh, security company, S&P 500 uh, uh, constituent, uh, reported a great quarter, uh, $1.43 billion, up 11% year over year, and some of the best uh, operating profit margins, 30.5% we've seen in a long time. But their product growth sa sales uh, are, are still falling. They're a little bit better than last quarter, but this is the number I want you to remember, negative 4%. That's what happened with product sales for this company. They said on the call that product sales lead to all, everything else for this company in the future and service sales, uh, but it starts with product, and the product sales still struggling, although they're saying it's going to get better next quarter and beyond. All right, thanks for checking out Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. And of course, check us out uh, on Twitter, at uh, or X, if you want to call it X, at uh, Corey TV, as well on Instagram and TikTok at Drill Down Pod. Check out all of our other earnings reports and lots more at 6.5 Media here on YouTube.